welcome to my channel. This is Tammy Oster with BadBobbin.com here to share a little tip with you. This is my table from my uh, multi-needle machine. Uh, it's six needle, ten needle. This is one of the tables that you can purchase for it, which is really great. I recommend it. You save your money and buy this. This is a saver for all kinds of things. Um, it's so easy to install it and then when you don't need it, you just kind of pull it off and hang it down and then it goes back on your machine. So I'm just going to give you a tip on how I maintain mine, because this one's pretty new. I have two of them, but this one's um, pretty new, uh, but my other one is a little bit older, but I, I'm going to maintain this one, so I thought I'd give you a little quick video on how, to, how I do this. Uh, up to you. You don't have to. This is just a way that I do it, and I've had success with it, so I thought I would share it. So as you, you start to use it, and when you're doing vinyls, you start to have those loops underneath your vinyl. So one of the reasons that's looping like that is because your vinyls are sticking. It sticks to the arm that comes through here with where the plate, needle plate is, and then it kind of sticks to here as well. This eventually, it, I mean, it starts out really smooth, but eventually with with um, fabric and the dust and, and your needle dust and that kind of thing, it starts to get a little bit of a coating on it. And then if, um, you know, your tape that you tape underneath, sometimes that rolls and that gooey part of the tape starts to stick on here. So a way to maintain this, um, if there's some little spots or anything and you can't get them up another way is to use a razor blade and you just lay it flat and lightly do it. You don't want to press hard because you don't want it to dig into your table. So if there's some spots that are tough and you can't get them up, you just go ahead and use your little razor blade to get those little spots up. And then that helps, you know, get some of the gooey off and keep it flat. Otherwise, what we're using most of the time will get some of that gooey stuff off. So what I'm using is 99 cent store. Um, armor all the original armor all protector this is what I use on my table um, and I use a towel this is a, a, a scrap towel that I had so I use a towel and I spray some of it on the table this is the only place you're going to spray this on something if you when you get to your machine part which I'll show you you have it on your towel you do not spray near the machine so I've sprayed it on and I'm just going to kind of buff it in a little bit just a little coating on it I'm not rubbing it off yet I'm just kind of smearing it to give it a coating at the moment. So I'm going to let this coating kind of sit a little bit, kind of evenly just kind of disperse it throughout my table. It's going to look like, oh, you just left a film on there. Pretty much, yep. And then as soon as that, you've got it coated all the way around. And this is where your most of your, your machine and uh, fabric's going to be and stuff because your needle plate sits here. So you want to kind of really concentrate on this area. So once you get that little coat on there and it kind of dries a little bit, you're going to turn your towel over to a nice clean dry side. And then you're going to buff it. And this is where you're going to put some of the little bit of, little bit of uh, elbow grease. And you're going to buff it really good and get all that stuff off of there. It's almost like waxing. And you can feel it as you're buffing it to get this off. You can feel it starting to get really slippery, just slides. So this stuff is great. It's exactly what it is. It's like a silicone spray. And this is one, just, you know, my tip on how I maintain my table and how I keep it smooth so that everything will glide on it. And once you've got it wiped, yes, very smooth. You'll feel it, you'll see it when you start to just barely wipe this. It's just quickly moving across. It's like an infomercial, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not selling armor all. You can use if there's any other type of silicone type cleaner spray, protectant, leather protectant. But I use the armor that comes the best. And like I said, 99 cent store for this bottle. It's been lasting me a while. So um, you're just gonna buff it off and it's gonna be smooth as glass. And that's exactly what you want. You want this to be very smooth. It's very clean, shiny, no gouges. And you wanna make sure around that plate, this is where we're gonna do it. So this is how I maintain my table. This is for a multi-needle machine, Brother Baby Lock. I'm not sure if it fits the other ones as well. Uh, great investment. I really recommend this. So I'm gonna take you over to the machine and show you how I do the rest of the maintaining to keep that arm smooth, I do the same thing, but I'm going to apply it to my towel. And uh, once I apply the spray to my towel, then I will go up and down the arm area in the machine and do the same thing, a little bit of a coating, and then let it dry, and then I'm gonna buff it really good. And it's okay to be near the needle plate. 
Um, it's not going down in. You're not spraying it near the machine. You're just going to have it on your cloth. So it's just going to be whatever's on the surface that you're going to be cleaning with. And then buff it off and it should be just as smooth like this. And it should help with that looping underneath the vinyls that some people are finding when they're doing their keychains and fobs that the bottom is looping and that's because it's dragging a little bit. So if you do a single needle machine, you can do the same thing and maintain it with this. But like I said, you're not gonna spray this near the machine. You're gonna spray it on your towel first. You're gonna wipe it really good, just lightly putting a little coating on, and then you're gonna buff it and get that off really good on your single needle machine, same thing. Just you don't wanna do the spray so that it gets into parts we don't want it to get into. It's just gonna be on the surface where your fabric and near the needle plate. And it's okay to buff over the needle plate and it's okay to buff over um, any metal with this, it's, it's fine. I have contacted my um, machine shop and they told me that's fine. And one of the things that we do use on the needles that some people are having the stickiness on the needle is needle glide. And that needle glide is a little bit of a, like a silicone oil, which is fine to put on your needles. That's what was recommended by the sewing shop and the shop that I go to, the owner is pretty well known with one of the um, magazines. So I kind of trust things that he's telling me or that shop does. So um, just a hint or a little trick I wanted to pass on to you. And I'll take you over the machine really quick and show you how I do that. Okay, here I am at my, sh my machine. I'm actually holding the camera, so it might be a little jolty, but we'll try to be as steady as I can on this. Um, I'm going to uh, just spray a little bit on my towel and kind of kind of wipe it into the towel. And then I'm with that uh, part, what I'm gonna do is, when the machine is off is the best way, because then you can move this arm all the way back. So you can see this, this arm is all the way pushed to the back, and my machine is off. And then the arm here, I'm going to just rub some of the polish on, the arm oil, and give it a little bit of a coating, like I said on the other thing, a little bit of a coating all the way to the needle plate. I'm going to do that part too. And then I'm going to get the dry side that I don't have the spray on. And I'm going to, it's going to be hard to get your arm in there, so you can work the back side, front side. And then you just kind of buff it. And you want to get all that armor all off and buff it really good. And you'll feel, as you're buffing it, you'll feel it start to get really smooth. And around the needle plate as well. There we go. And that's it, and it's very smooth. You'll feel it. It's just like really smooth, and that's going to help with uh, the back side of your key fobs when you have underneath your hoop. It'll help cause, or not cause, but it'll help get rid of that looping that you have. So that's it. Very simple. Use the armor all and an old towel, 99 cent store. Dollar Tree might have the armor all. Just really a small little bottle goes a long ways. So there you go, how I keep it maintained. And then I'm gonna come back and put my table. Um, like I said, it's very easy. These are little rails that they give you to go and install it, and the table sits on top. I'll take you to my other machine really quick and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the table top and how it looks on the machine. If you don't have one, it's, like I said, it's great to have. This is on the 10 needle. And same thing, I do the same thing, maintenance. This one's a little bit older and I'm about to maintain this one as well. And then it has screws underneath that come off or unscrew a little bit. These little screws. It lifts up. And then you slide it out. And if you want, you can just hang it like that. That's one way. Oops, a little blurry there. There we go. So that's one thing is hanging it like that or you can completely take it off. When you're ready, you need to slide it back up. Lift a little bit to get it back in its guides, and then you put those screws back in. So, just a quick tip on how I maintain my table on a multi-needle, or a six-needle, ten-needle, baby lock, or brother. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video, subscribe, get new uh, tips, notifications, and hope you enjoyed it. Meet you at the cutting table.